Hi, everyone, and welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Barb Mitchell here at JSA. Joining me today is Ian Wilcoxon and Richard Russett from Kohler. Thank you so much for joining us today. Welcome to JSA TV. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves. I'd love to hear a, a bit of, from each of you on your, your current roles at Kohler. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Richard Russett. I'm the uh, director for the uh, Amir Power Solutions business, uh, mainly focused on mission critical and data center applications. Yeah, and uh, I'm Ian Wilcoxon, so a data center um, channel manager for Cola uh, in Amir, um, exclusively working on data centers, uh, and I've been with Cola just over three years, uh, but in the industry in the generator industry for, dare I say, about 20 years, so quite a while. Yeah. Yeah. So we have some experts with us today. Thank you. And, and of course, we're here today to talk about modular design and the ability to customize uh, in backup power generators for data centers. And so, Richard, I'd like to throw this first question to you, if you don't mind. So what can you tell us about that, about modular design for backup generators? Uh, thanks. So, I, I mean, I think yeah, we're, the industry talks about modular, um, but understanding exactly what, what everybody means by modular is sometimes uh, a little difficult. Uh, I think everyone has their own perception of what they see as being their modular solution. Um, so really, it's only, only a term that can be sort of used to describe sort of the basic building blocks, um, which is certainly how we approach it in terms of having some, some key building blocks that we can use to then build a more customized solution for people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, to talk of, just expand a little bit more on that, if you wouldn't mind, about sort of Kohler's unique approach to this. Yeah, so, so we have we have standard designs that we've developed, um, different solutions, whether that be for um, attenuation solutions, power power nodes, um, space requirements, um, and locations, and and then try to really take those standard base designs and adapt them for what any particular customer wants. Um, so sometimes the end product is close to a, a standard or a modular design, but sometimes it can be very different using those uh, individual components. Mm -hmm. So Ian, I'd love for you to chime in here as well uh, and, and talk a little bit specifically about the types of customization processes that are typical at Kohler. Yeah, I guess, I guess for us, it's, you know, it's with, it starts with client really I mean I guess we've got I would say two or three main types of client so if we talk about a little bit about the small to medium sized businesses they typically don't have a lot of in-house knowledge around uh, customization and modularization so I guess for us there we would be developing the specification for them um, using our standards and, and using you know that modular approach and then I guess the second type we've got is the, is the hyperscalers, uh, where they have um, a lot of in, internal resource, engineering resource, and they set the specs. Um, they quite often, you know, they have their own ideas around pre-engineered components, and they have a much better idea of how they want to modularize and phase, um, because obviously that's quite an important point around uh, how you phase particularly the larger projects. Back over to you then. I mean, Ian was just talking to us a little bit about how um, you're able to customize for particular customer groups. And I'm, I'm curious if you could elaborate on which areas end up being most important for these customers when you're you're going through this customization process on new generator builds. Yeah, sure. Um, I think, you know, like we touched on you know, the product that we build as a genset, the Kohler, Kohler gensets are um, a fairly standard product and customers don't tend to customize those uh, very much. Um, they choose a power node and, and then we, we look to then build the solution around that for the customer. So it's really around the solution that we build around the genset, um, predominantly the enclosure, whether it be a noise spec, temperature spec, space constraints, um, location that it needs to go. Um, 
And I think, you know, we're one of the only suppliers that actually do that engineering um, and manufacturing completely as an in-house solution. Uh, it's certainly an area that we've invested heavily in. Um, we know from our customers that they see the packaging and the, the building of the, the, the solution as being an area that they see as a weak point in the industry in terms of supply chain. Um, and our ability to, to do that in-house and to actually have full control over that and deliver a complete cola solution, a complete cola package is something that, that um, certainly customers find very appealing. Um, and certainly from our point of view, it's an area that recognizing the, uh, the needs in, in the market, uh, an area that we've invested heavily in in, uh, in recent years and continue to do so. So I re uh, recently expanded significantly the amount of production and manufacturing space we have for this type of work, um, new locations um, and ability to increase the volume of work that we're able to actually do in, in that area. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, it's great to hear all about this. It obviously um, is is such a differentiator for Kohler to offer this um, enclosure design in, in the way that you do in such a customized way. Ian, I'd love to come back to you here for a second. You know, obviously, you know, as we've mentioned, the the enclosures that Kohler offers are make a big difference to a lot of your customers, and they're a great offering that you have. Are there other Kohler advantages that you feel are noteworthy that you'd love to mention here? Yeah, I, I guess I guess one other thing that I touch on really is that as you know, Rich has described there about us building enclosures in house. Um, so depending on the site requirements, we do have uh, some uh, we have some third party packaging as well, um, and we the the third party packaging suppliers only work exclusively Kohler. Uh, you know, we hold the uh, the IP, uh, and you know, and we also manage that uh, supplier, and we manage them in the same way as we would do in house. So what I mean by that is, you know, we we design and engineer the detail around each one of those solutions. You know, we're, so basically, we're still in control, even though it's been effectively produced by a third party. So you know, from a QC QA perspective um you know the customers can be assured that it leaves a third party packaging uh, facility uh, in, in the same way as it would a, a cola facility i guess right okay well thank you both so much this has been a, a, a really nice introduction to uh, the work that you're doing and the work that that kohler is doing um, and and the you know, benefits of the Kohler enclosures. Is there anything else that we've left out? Anything you'd like to add? Um, any final words at this point? I think, you know, what we're trying to do and, and where we're probably trying to differentiate differentiate ourselves from, from maybe other manufacturers is really offer that complete end-to-end -end solution that's really truly managed by Kohler as a manufacturer, right from assisting with design and, and engineering at the front end all the way through to controlling the manufacturing process um, and then and then supporting the product when it's actually in its in its operational uh, environment in the field so really really having that end-to-end -end process that, that us as a manufacturer are fully supporting the customer with all the way through its life right. yeah and and, making, and also offering a really flexible uh, solution as well you know lots of options we know that every site is different, every, all the site constraints are different, uh, you know, and I would say, you know, connect with us, um, talk, talk, talk to us about your particular site and your, and your particular challenges, uh, and we'll, we'll come, come up with a solution that suits. Perfect. And on that note, how can people find you? How can they connect with you? So we've got our, our website, colapower.com. Um, where people can see some of the uh, some of the products that we're offering and some uh, there's some case studies and things like that that people can see. Um, obviously, you can reach out to us personally through uh, through LinkedIn, um, and uh, I believe there's a QR code available on screen yeah, that people can scan to take you uh, straight straight to the Cola Power website. Yeah, yeah, and and of course one other thing, if you know we offer CPDs, so if if guys, you know, it may be in the the uh, the uh, the, the consultants are interested in us coming to to them and uh, and talking through some of the the, the, the challenges around 
uh, installation we can offer we've got a range of cpds and we'd be very happy to uh, to engage with that with the with our clients that way fantastic thank you so much so colorpower.com you can scan it here on the on the qr code up in the top left of your screen. And uh, thank you both, gentlemen, Richard and Ian, for joining us today. It, it's been fantastic speaking with you. And thank you to our viewers for joining us today on JSA TV. And as always, happy networking. Until next time.